Children's International Summer Village, an adventure in world understanding and unity. An attempt by citizens of one American community to break down the barriers that separate nation from nation. Bringing together 55 children from nine different nations, the people of Cincinnati, Ohio, conducted this living experiment in world harmony. Speaking seven different languages, these children lived and played together for one month, communicating by means of that universal language of childhood, action. Teaching each other their own national games, they learned that all differences in language and culture are merely other ways of expressing the same thoughts and feelings. For whether it is English cricket or French soccer, a game has the same meaning to all children, a meaning which they can all share without words. And in having fun together, they learn that languages are not necessarily a barrier keeping people apart. And so, in learning to play together, these children demonstrated that there are no insurmountable hurdles to common understanding among people, that there exists a vast area of agreement for all nations on Earth. Instruction in arts and crafts also help these children to understand each other, for skilled hands often express what words can never say. Here again was further proof that language differences were no obstacle to friendship between children, that by doing things together, sharing a common purpose, understanding must soon follow. Studying the world of nature about them, they learn for the first time to fully see and hear the natural wonders that are their common heritage. It soon became impossible to distinguish one nationality from another, for children naturally regard each other as individuals and not as members of any group or nation. Put him around his neck. It was as individuals that they exhibited their newly learned skills. It was as individuals that their abilities differed, and not as members of any one race or nationality.
Here were the techniques that would make possible future international friendship and understanding. Here was also nourished a new hope for permanent peace. And though they were of many faiths, they uttered the same prayer, a hope that these friendships would continue. Here, the customs of one group, instead of holding children apart, were found to bring them closer together. To be foreign was not to be feared, but merely to be more interesting. And the singing around the candles of a child's birthday cake was proof that children are children the world over. tasks necessary to run the village were performed by teams composed of many nationalities. From planning their own schedules to washing dishes, the children were encouraged to make their own rules without adult guidance. Living experience in self-government. Using their own skills, the children attempted to improve the campsite. Working to carpentry and painting, they demonstrated a feeling of responsibility towards each other and their village. The first steps on that long road to world citizenship. And so, at work and at play, they learned to share, to give and to take, to live together in harmony. Singing folk songs in seven different languages, these children shared the music that is the common history of men everywhere. And in singing together, they learned that all songs that speak of man's past tell the same story. So, whether singing or dancing, it is only the words and costumes that change. The meaning is the same for all nations. Imagination is a world which all people can share. A world without borders, speaking one language, a world with a common purpose, the desire to be entertained.
Writing and acting in their own plays, these children shared that world with each other. And so these children discover truly by means of experience on Earth. children began searching for some means of maintaining their international friendships. Some bond that would permit them to remain together even though separated by oceans. For they knew that time and distance were no longer barriers to understanding between nations. They established an international newspaper, writing and publishing it themselves, a project to be continued after they returned home. Well, I think it would be interesting to get some stories of adventures in Mexico. Well, since you're the boy from Mexico, I think you should, I think you should be the one to write them, then. Well, ready? Where shall I get them to go? Yes, I think it's best to first of September, we will get, give out the newspaper the first of October. Okay. Ich will in the Zeitung schreiben, das große Briefwechsel steht. How I understand what it says. I think you want to call them in the paper for who's received letters from who. Which people and which people have they've sent letters to? What do you think they shall tell other people? I think that the important thing that you children should understand is that you yourselves are going to write this paper, not have... As in all their other activities, guidance from adults was held to a minimum. The children were allowed to work out their problems, learning from their own mistakes. But what you write about this camp and about continuing your friendships, it seems to me, is something that you boys and girls have to decide yourselves. 